I have here my Mate 60 Pro and this one got a brand new update for how many years next and I want to show you what is new so let's zoom out a little bit there and let's check it out just go into settings and then we see that the brand new version that I have is 500126 and what we have here new are some themes so when we go into uh, themes here you will see that there are some more uh, emoji themes available <coughs> like the moving emojis that look like this as you can see in the animation so you can move them around and there's this boss basketball game as well available so you can really play with your hand guess gesture like this basketball which is also a very nice uh, idea we saw that already which is like not nothing completely new then in settings you will find also huawei share under more connectivity and huawei share now supports more than 10,000 images that can be yeah copied over from harmony is for uh, 3.0 on or later at the same time which is like a nice feature that was a limitation that we had before that is not there anymore now for calls when you get a new call what you can do now when the display is off you can press the power button to reject an incoming call or cancel even an outgoing call or end call uh, all you have to do is go into your setting let me go there first and i will show you the settings so you can go into your settings and uh, then under more here we have the possibility for call waiting and also the possibility here under more for power button to end call and uh, yeah this is a new possibility that we have here uh, when we talk about settings let's go into settings back again and what we will find there under privacy and security when I can find privacy and security is a new feature called file save so we have the possibility to uh, save some files here which is quite nice I think the password one is not the one private space app log file save there we go so we have the possibility to have some pictures audios or video content and documents encrypted here in a special safe uh, which is quite nice then another new feature that we have here is if we want to create a new empty space we can now do this just by creating here a plus and then we have an empty space let me go back and then we have an empty space without anything on so this is now possible as well um, if you need it um, for a clean system in settings we have now also the possibility to let me go back here and search for it schedule power on and off this is something that we had before that was like uh, taken away now it's back again here schedule on and off is a possibility to automatically turn off the device and um, turn it on again then there is also a new um, gesture for grabbing the screenshot you know the famous like uh, hold your hand like this do this go to another device do this to drag a screenshot or drag a photo and uh, share it with other uh, people this is possible as well now under um, shortcuts and gestures if i can find it here let me just search for gestures shortcuts and gestures and there we have the grab shot that we can turn on and off here as you can see here this is how it's working you can do a start and i'm not sure if you can see it but this is how it works and then i can grab a screenshot and i can share it with another file another phone or a tablet i don't have another one running harmony as next so i cannot demonstrate it to you but this is now um, landed here finally and this allows me also like uh, another feature that allows me to to when i have a screenshot is to drag it to the uh, super hub and then also paste it to the gallery which was not possible earlier um, and some other things are possible as well if you have some sms texts i'm not sure if i have one that is like <coughs> sensitive let me take a screenshot there and click on share I should have the possibility to um, privacy blur this one I'm not sure how this works here I uh, privacy there we go 
So it will automatically download uh, something in the background first, the protection resource kit uh, package. And then it can analyze your screenshot and before sharing it will like blur out all this stuff that is important like uh, special code, phone numbers, might be even email addresses and such things that it can just blur out which is a nice uh, feature. Um, and uh, yeah this allows you to um, have sensitive data just stripped out of your uh, screenshots if you want to share them. And uh, I can even like as you see here tap text you want to hide. So you can see it hide it automatically some text and I can even add more if I want to. Like for example, I want this whole text to be hidden so I can hide this whole line there. So this is a possibility that you have with this privacy feature. I really like that as well. Um, then another thing is like when you have apps open, like for example, uh, messaging and you want to have this always open and not being closed in the background, you can now swipe down here to lock it. This is a feature that we had already on Harmony S4, but on Harmony S5 it was still missing and you can the same way unlock it as well. So if I have it locked and I close everything, you can see this one here will stay in the background still. So this is a nice feature that we have it uh, there again. Then another feature that we didn't have on Harmony S5 that is coming back is high car support. Huawei high car. So if you have like something you want to plug your car in, you have a Huawei car or something like this or a compatible um, there are some extra monitors, uh, third party monitors that can support Huawei high car. Uh, then this is now supported in Harmony S5 as well. It was missing previously. And uh, yeah, this is a very, very nice feature indeed. Then in Notepad, we have intelligent text recognition, which is uh, possible if you have it enabled intelligent text recognition. What it can do, and let me go back to one of the texts, is uh, it can detect then, for example, phone numbers and such things, and I'm able to dial them. Uh, in this case, I think it didn't recognize the phone number. Uh, the same goes for email addresses uh, or even like e event reminders that you can set depending on the node that you have here, which is, I think, a cool feature indeed. Yeah, we have uh, some me time options as well. Adds messaging folder to the chat screen, which uh, shows you messages content when touched. I don't have me time enabled here. Uh, we have now also uh, the possibility under the file manager, under recents, to clear out uh, big files, for example. So I have the possibility to clear them out here. Large files cleanup is now possible under the files app, which is a very, very cool feature indeed as well. Then we have some under the hood changes like AI Live, which allows you now also to log in uh, with the AI Live app when you have uh, the same Huawei ID on a computer, for example. And Huawei Vision Remote Home Monitoring feature has been added as well to the AI Live app. This is something that I cannot test because I don't have a Huawei Vision. The Books app allows you to turn pages by swiping up and down now or using the volume keys. I have the Books app on here, but I don't have anything uh, on it to demonstrate it to you. Um, what is cool is also that the browser has been updated. So let's go to the browser here. Shouldn't have anything open there. So it's loading the default page there. But it allows you now to add frequently visited web pages to the home screen for one touch access if you need to. So let me maybe go into the settings and see how to do this. Uh, so search and you can set browsers, browsing settings you can set and then you have home page there and you have a simple home page here and the default one. If you have the simple one enabled, I think it should, yes, uh, allow you here to just search, enter URL, go to bookmarks, history, downloads, or you can add some uh, URLs here to websites that you want to visit. And for some people who have like, yeah, the global version don't want to see the Chinese news. They can use this simple uh, version here and add their own bookmarks to the most frequently websites. That's it in terms of the new features here of this brand new version of Harmony US 5. As you see here, it comes with plenty of new features uh, and improvements. I didn't notice anything in terms of the uh, camera, sadly. So hopefully Huawei will work on it still to improve the Mate 60 Pro's camera. But this is version 500126 and that's everything for this short little video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.